We want that robots can learn from interaction, from essentially playing around with the world in the same way as children are doing it. My name is Georg Martius. I'm the group leader for autonomous learning here at the Max Planck Institute for Intelligent Systems. In my group, we are working on learning algorithms for robots. Not in the way where we say exactly what they need to do, but they really should learn by themselves. This is our grand goal. And then in practice, we study small things about this. How can a robot start to behave at all? How can he understand from a behavior? What are the mechanisms that are behind the world and, and this kind of stuff? My name is uh, Cristina Pinneri and I'm uh, working on autonomous learning for robots. This means that we want to uh, develop some set of instructions that allow the, the robot to autonomously and uh, independently explore the environment without uh, um, specifying, without telling them how to do it. We just provide uh, an internal mechanism that uh, doesn't specify uh, a big number of instructions, but just tell them how their uh, uh, parts are uh, correlated. And then in this way, the robot is able to uh, just or self-organize his uh, sensory motor uh, development. So assume a robot wants to pour some water in a cup. Then first he needs to understand that he needs to reach out for the bottle, move the bottle to the cup and pour water in it. There are so many things that happen there, right? It's a relation about the, the robot's hand and the, and the bottle that is relevant. And then afterwards, the bottle to the cup. If it just tries randomly around, it will obviously kick over the bottle and never pour any water into the, into the cup, right? So there's lots of structure in this world, and this structure needs to be understood. So you see, of course, babies, they will toss over a couple of times the bottle and, and they will make a great mess, right? But after a very comparably short time, they understand how things work. So understanding essentially the physics of the world in a way from experience is something very interesting to us. Well, my name is Sebastian Bliss. I'm a PhD student in the Autonomous Learning Group here at the MPI. And my current project is concerned with developing a learning algorithm which helps a robot to explore in its environment and find out how it can manipulate its environment, including itself. So let's imagine you, have a, you are in a, somehow in a warehouse and you have a heavy object you want to move around and in order to move this object around you might need a forklift. You want the robot to do this in a completely autonom autonomous fashion. So it's not about teaching the robot something, but um, that he figures this relationships out by itself. And also learn that he can subdivide a task in multiple subtasks, which can be chained together in order to make it easier to um, solve the final task which would be, in this case, moving around the object. So subtasks could be first getting the forklift, then when you have the forklift, moving the forklift at the position of the object, and then using the forklift to manipulate the object or moving the object around in the environment. It's very difficult to predict the future, obviously, and, but I believe that we will have um, lots of things that, that make our world better and safer. And I hope that with our research, we can uh, contribute to having robots that can help in everyday life situations. This is something that we really have to learn from interaction and that uh, cannot be pre-programmed. I would be very happy if at the end of my career, I would have created a so-called let's say, playful machine and people would, would know me for this. So essentially a little machine that can uh, learn from playing like a child. I have no idea whether I can achieve it. But this is how research works, right? You try hard and then you see.